Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, so let's take a look again on your currency. In general we can't we have correctly estimated the direction, um, suggesting that uh, your currency should keep going higher because overall background stands uh, positive for the euro currency and uh, a bit dovish for the uh, dollar. Everybody right now waiting for results of the Wyoming meeting starting on Friday, so maybe some statements already will be done on Friday, Saturday. So Jerome Powell should give some clarity on uh, changing on the, in the policy. Currently, based on recent data that we discussed, as you know, those who read our report, uh, our central view is that uh, Fed will cut rate just for 25 basis points. Because recent uh, inflation data is not really very impressive in terms of the inflation drop, and actually it might be some kind of the holding factor for, for the Fed. Uh, if, of course, some other uh, reasons for faster rate cut will happen. Maybe some problems in the economy or something. But, based on the public official data, now it seems that uh, with, and with the reserves that uh, Janet Yellen has on the accounts of the uh, Minister of Finance, it's no, it no really big uh, necessity with the cutting rate right for the 50 points. So, uh, Speaking about overall performance, we said that next target will be around 1180, which is the XOP here, but market will go to it step by step because uh, overbought stands close. So this time market hits 1080 area. Next overbought area for today stands for 111.10. So here is market theoretical could keep going high in general. It will gradually keep going to its target. Uh, if we take a look at the dollar index there we have approximately the same story uh, difference only stands with this X XLP target if uh, your account suggests going to it on a dollar index XLP this XLP has been completed right there but the a OP target that we're considering with this big pattern mostly stands the same uh, the grabber that we discussed in the weekend also has been perfectly done so you can see it has happened right on monday when market collapsed through the lows and take a look at the way how this has happened it's very important we do not see any signs of the washing rings or fast return right back up or anything we have just collapsed and tail closing this just indicates that the bears control the situation and no significant barriers for a possible down continuation especially because take a look at the dollar index it is not at the result so it has really free space just for keep going lower. So from that standpoint, so we would suggest that your currency also should gradually keep going in the same direction. On the 10-year bonds, we do not see any big changes. So yields is floating around 385 uh, without any significant action in any direction. This is probably logical. All right, at the eve of the Jackson Hole results so uh, no it's not necessary to make some sharp moves when you're waiting for the big announcement on lower time frame what we have uh, on the fall time frame chart here is market starts forming approximately similar retracements uh, usually it happens when the market has gradual and uh, stable action in one or other direction current situation this is up for possible pullbacks since market still stands around our but maybe retracement will happen i would consider only uh, probably nearest standing targets hardly will get really very deep retracement in the current circumstances uh, it's most probable that it will be one around 110 area maybe one or 960 65 is confidence area. these two levels that i will keep an eye on on the hourly chart unfortunately on monday we haven't got the butterfly market has started up prediction is straightforward without any retracement that we talked about and let's take a look by the way the 110 also will be confluence with this level here we also have 11035 area support now since overbought on the daily chart stands around 11110 market easily could try to reach next 
local target here is 1, 11 or, se or 7. So when it will be completed, maybe some pullback will start. I don't know. We will see. But this will be some combination of the minor extension that we have here and daily overbought. Hopefully we will get some pullback that could let us to consider taking the long position on euro currency. Uh, that's approximate strategy for a current uh, situation that we have on the euro currency.